everyone and welcome to my series about oil painting mediums. Today we are going to discuss liquid fine detail. If you are new don't forget to like and subscribe and let us begin. So as the title suggests liquid fine detail is amazing for detailed work. It resists yellowing and it has a really nice glossy finish. It also is very good at smoothing out brush strokes and is amazing for glazing and also blending as well. In terms of the advantages it is brilliant for glazing on small areas. It has, because it's so fluid and the glossy finish as well, creates a really, really nice translucent effect in your paintings. It's great for using on small canvases, so you don't have to just think, okay, I have to only use it for small, small areas on my big paintings. You can use it on a little canvas, and I'm going to show you one of my paintings that I've created using this. The thing is, I would not ever use this on a big canvas. I did experiment using it on a large area and I found that it doesn't really dry very evenly in terms of the finish. So some of it dried matte and some of it dried super glossy. So on big areas it's a no-no, at least for me. I mean you can experiment with it and see what happens. But for me I wouldn't use it on the large areas. As it says it's fine detail, I guess we should just stick with that. Another slight disadvantage to this is that it does have a scent. Again, it's quite similar to the Liquid Original scent, although I do think it's a little bit stronger. So if you are averse to scents, then avoid this one. It's not terrible, it's just a varnishy sort of scent. Just make sure you keep your windows open whilst you're using it. In the UK, once again, this is very affordable, probably about £6.95, maybe even £5.95. I'm not exactly sure, but something around that region. So really affordable and again, you can use only a little bit and it goes a long way. So really great that way. I want to show you one of my paintings that I created using this. It's really just an experiment, um, so it's not something that I would necessarily display. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a very nice look to the glazed areas, and I glazed here obviously and on the fruit and a little bit down here as well. So you can see that it really has a nice finish and it has a really luminous look. Those are my thoughts on liquid fine detail. Let me know what you think. Do you love this medium or do you absolutely hate it? Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.